I have here Thomas Hunting from Exodus. Hello, how are we doing today? Yeah, that's my question. How are you today? How are awesome. You doing? Glad to be here. Yeah, what's your feeling? Before I talk to you before the show, you nervous or excited? Totally excited. We love coming to Czech Republic. You know, I got my great grandmother was from here. Near oh, really? near near to here, yeah. Do you know where she lived? Like in the near, Zlin or near Zlin. And oh, um, okay. her sister had offspring. Like her sister had kids too. So now we know those people too. So like I'm actually nice. waiting for my distant cousin to show up here today, so. Well, when? And are you coming here often or just no, show here? N unfortunately, never on vacation, but it's 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 on my bucket list for sure in the plans. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. There'll be more time for it. Don't worry. Let's talk about today's show. So, what can we expect from Exodus today? Do you have something special for this event? Uh, 75 minutes of crushing metal. Nice. <laughs> Happy to deliver. Glad we can make it because we had a little bus problem last night and uh, really tell me about it. We were in East Germany and the 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 lights on the bus wouldn't work. The the running lights. <clears throat> the driver was like, I can't drive, and um, we had to have a mechanic come out at three in the morning and fix the lights, and and we made it. Oh yeah. Here. <laughs> Holy shit! So have you slept or? Oh yeah. yeah so you're okay with this? I slept. There wasn't um, nothing wrong with my bunk. Only the lights. Okay. Well, it's really interesting because more bands had problems, like guys from Cataclysm right now who's playing. So they had problems with their stuff. They didn't have I know, them. there's like airplane strikes and people strikes. Yeah. You know, I would have thought two, two years away from working and people doing what they're supposed to do, I would have thought they would take time to like think, how is this going to be better when we go back to work again? Instead, nobody did shit. And now it's like, Oh my god, this is broken, that's broken, that's broken. You had two years to fix things. Fucking fix it. So nothing nothing improves, you wanna say? Um, nothing improved. I think um, I don't know. It feels like we devolved a little bit. Like like people I don't know. I mean yeah, it sucked. Pandemic sucked and we couldn't go to work, but we should have been preparing for the time when we do go back to work. I know we were. We made a record. I mean we as musicians, we weren't allowed to work, so we create a new music for the time when we do go back to work, right? Beautiful music, I must say. Thank you. I blasted it in my car and man. Thanks, dude. And then the people, with the people that you know, service buses should have been fixing the fucking buses, knowing we'd be back, you know. Do you have some special ritual before you hit the stage, like summoning the devil or get drunk or something? Not really, dude. I just I just stretch and do push-ups and, and you know. You do push-ups. Yeah, I do 25 nice. or 30 push-ups and get ready, kind of stretch out and Man, just beautiful. kind of get out of your head and just like let let your muscle memory take over, you know. Sure. Well, it's not so common to do push-ups before shows for me, I must say. I must. I think you got more push-up than many young guys in my age, man. It's really interesting. Uh, I have to do it. Got to, got to, got to stay in shape and you know feel strong when you hit the stage. But nothing, no crazy rituals. Just just you know stretch and get ready and don't forget to breathe. But yeah, if it is if it is hard you know to play uh, on drums you know on your shows if it is so much exhausted. This is the word exhausted. Mm -hmm. If you are exhausted after the show, it you must take the shape. So I feel pretty good after the show, like because it's it's you know. It's an hour and 15 minutes of cardio, like, you're just like, ah. So when I get off stage, I feel like I can go back and play, you know, So it's not songs. that so much exhausting. Put it this way, you could, you could, you could blow it all out in three songs, if you're not careful, but you have to like, you have to, you have to rein it in a little bit and just, just um, like uh, pace yourself, kind of, you know? And let's talk about it, because, you know, in your age, you played many gigs, you play many years right now. So do you need still to practice a lot or just it is like, okay, I'm just gonna do one hour of bum 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 bum. No, pra practicing is very important. Like I, I think the only way to do it is to keep doing it, you know? Um, so, you know, when I'm home, I live in the high mountains in Northern California, like Beautiful. super high altitude. So when I play and work out at high altitude, when I go to the lower elevation. You're much better than. Exactly. Yeah.
Have you prepared anything special for this event, like for this festival? For this like festival? for this special set list or something? Because you have new album, Persona Non Grata. Yep. So, are you going to play mainly the new songs or your... I think we're going to do three or four today. Oh, Wait okay. a minute. I can't give it away, but there'll be a lot. That will be a lot. Oh, okay, okay. So, we'll, you will play compilations of your albums, not only the new Other album, stuff, but yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, brilliant. And it's it's hard it's hard to please everybody when we have we have we we have eleven albums now, so like we're like fuck. You know, we, we go round and round and round about this, like I wanna play that, I wanna play that, I wanna play that. Well that one's gonna do better. The crowd likes this one better. They go crazy for that one. Yeah, but I like that one, so you know it's a mess, I know. So but I have to say that there's worse problems a band can have than having too much music to play, right? So, you know. So you don't have special guy because I guess in a band there should be some. Oh no 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 not should but I mean when you have so much songs already written so it's hard to choose. Yeah. So do you get uh, maybe I will not use the right word but angry to each other when somebody no. wants this song? No no you just no because okay. like it, it like I said it, it's it's not a bad problem to have like you know too many songs so we do what we can. Okay. Know? And we try, we try like songs and like base them on crowd reaction or how we feel playing them. If it's like a, if it's a good one or if it's a, if it's a dud goes down the tubes, then we don't play that one again. But you know, we're happy with the set we played today. I think it'll be good. Okay, and uh, let's talk about the new album. Okay. So how are, how satisfied are you with your latest album? Tell me. Did everything go according to plan? Or? Um, we had so much fun making the music because, you know, it was, of course it was during COVID and it was kind of at the start of COVID. And, you know, we were shut down, we couldn't tour or anything. So the only thing we could control was to make music. So that's what we did. And we had fun. Like, I have a house in Northern California with a big garage and a man cave. And we flew out an engineer, brought him in two pallets of recording gear, racks and shit, and like, he came in and, um, Man, you know, that's we, his paradise. We're yeah, we did it all in-house, because like in, in the big cities, everything was shut down. Like, you couldn't even go get a hamburger at McDonald's or whatever, like, that during sucked the start. A lot. That sucked a lot, man. Yeah, <laughs> during the start of COVID. So, you know, basically we were, you know, a bunch of dudes quarantined in the mountains making music. So and we were together, if I'm and right. We, yeah, we cooked our own food and, you know, um, lived in my house. Some of us lived in my house, and my cousin has a house half a mile away. Some people stayed there, and um, yeah, it was super fun. I think we'll do it that way again on purpose, you know. Brilliant. So. And how many people were with you when you recorded this? Uh, I mean, whole band or the band, the, the band engineer, and then you know people would pass through. We had a videographer come in and film some <laughs> things too. So um, yeah, it was fine. It worked out good. Did everything go according to your plan or, you know, would you like to do something different on the next album? No, I think I would do it like that on purpose, even without a pandemic, I, I would. It was good for me because usually when, you're, when you do drums, like you have one week or a week and a half, you do your drum tracks and that's it, you're done. This time, the drum stage set up with microphones. So like, if I was marinating, listening to, song you know i'm like ooh, i could do a better fill there to to make that riff better you know what i mean i would just grab the engineer and say hey come on let's go but go downstairs and you know put in the put in a new fill or you know and this is like, the way how to do it this like, is the way hey, i, I want to do something with congas tonight you know <laughs> have a few whiskey sodas and like go out there and like beat on the congas and djembe drums and stuff so it was fun Really good time. You, you was the leader. Of, you were the leader of the, of 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 this recording. I'm. Um. Yeah. I kind of like pushed it along, but I mean, we were we were all like leaders, you know, because we were all very excited to record, and we we were so excited about the material. So like, everybody had something to say. You know, it was it was um, it was a very special time. It was awesome. So everybody did their work. Everybody could say everything. It yeah. was like, okay, guys, I have this. You have that. Let's take it together. Yeah. Nice. That's really the way how to do it. I well, think. I mean, it all starts with drums and guitar, pretty much, the way we work. Like, 
It's very old school. It's two guys in a room, Marshall half stack, drum nice. set over here. And we're like, yeah, I like that. Yeah, do that one again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that was, nah, I can do this better. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, man. I think this is because, you know, right now in my young age, I have to say, uh, I don't have so much boys, not boys, but guys around me to, you know, play. So I have, in my other band, I have guitarists or in the you another city. You send the music so, out to them. Yeah, and, yeah, I have to send it. And, that, and that's, I don't like it because, you know, you don't have that physical touch. I mean, yeah. I think this is the way how should it be done because that's for me, Personally, every music what was done this way. Yeah, I know it's a huge. <laughs> I know it's a hippie word, but you know it's organic. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and whatever it's hippie, it's good. Good things happen when you're just two guys jamming, you know. Yeah, it is. I would like to know: Do you have any favorite place where you are writing the music? Like, I mean, in the bed or in the toilet, when the something comes to your mind. Do you have something special where you go to um, get? some idea or something? I've, I've only recently been writing lyrics again. Like I, I wrote, wrote a little bit of lyrics on the last record and now like if it hits me, I'll be outside working in the yard or something and, and I keep a tablet by my bed. I'll be like, Phew. I hear like a poem in my head, I'll write it out, you know? Um, but I think inspiration comes from everywhere, you know? Like, you know, when I hear Gary play in a riff or Lee, I think, all right, I'm gonna put this drum beat to that or whatever, and sometimes a guitar riff happens after a drum beat, you know? Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. If there's, you no, there's no set formula, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's just guys jamming, you know? Yeah, so do you have some songs that just happened that you played something, you jam alone, and you was like, okay, I love this, man, play guitar on it. It was something like this? Some song do you have? Iconoclasm from Exhibit A was kind of written that way because like I, okay. did, I did a drum beat and like Gary's like, oh, I got a riff for that. I was like, oh, that's good, you know? And Are you going to play it tonight? Very organic. Uh, no, we're not ready for that one. Though. Okay, never mind. I will listen to it. I will listen to <laughs> it. Okay, so, and what does the situation look like right now? Are you, are you planning anything new or something? Or see, uh, album or well, we maybe have a vacation? Pretty <laughs> ambitious tour schedule like right now. Like we just did. Um, 7.3 weeks at, in the uh, U.S. Mm. We're over here for six and a half weeks. And then um, and then we go back to the U.S. and do the Bass Tracks Back Tour with Testament of Death Angel again. And like, that's gonna be another month and a half. And then we go to South America. Just kind of riding the wave, you know? Cause like, who knows when they could stop again, you know? Hope never. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope never because dead two years to a lot of Yeah. What are your must-have things when you are on tour? Like, do you have some teddy bear or some talisman or... you have something that you really need when you are touring? Reese's. Reese's? Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cup. Okay. But I like the Reese's sticks. They're like wafers. Yeah, you got it. Did what you got your mood Gu from it. Guilty pleasures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and good coffee. What do you prefer more, clubs or festivals? What do you enjoy more? That's a good question. I mean, usually like Thursday through Sunday, we're playing like big festival like this in the summertime. And then Monday through Thursday, you're in clubs. But there's something electric about the crowd being closer to you in a club where there's four or 500 people versus a big stage. There's nothing wrong with the big stages because these, these shows are amazing. Um, but I, I can't pick a favorite because they're both awesome, you know? I'm just, I'm happy for the journey and like all of it together is amazing, so. Okay, thank you for the answer. So, and you've played here in Czech Republic for few times, so do you have any memorable moment you just, which just stick in your mind? Um, well, we played this festival before and uh, we played uh, uh, Brutal Assault also. Yeah. And like, I remember going down inside the, they have a tour you could go down inside those that old fort in, in Brutal Assault. That was amazing, because I love history. I love walking through old old towns and just, Prague is beautiful. Um, Slin is beautiful. You get, this place is amazing. So. I understand. And the people are awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, can, you can say it too. Czech people are awesome. What comes to your mind when I say Judas Priest, which they are celebrating 50 years of anniversary right now? What comes to your mind, man? 
uh, an incredible body of work. A to Z, everything's been amazing. Like, and I think, you know, I mean, a lot of things come to mind. I think about what Glenn's going through and I think about how they talk about that and how they treat Glenn and it's this very human shit that we're all gonna go through, you know? Um, I have my own battle. Glenn, Glenn's having his battle, but they, they don't, they don't freak out about it. They don't, ah! they, they just kind of like deal with it, and he deals with it, and it's it's, it's inspiring. Man, did. Yeah. By your story too. Thanks. I don't know if you want to talk about it or not. We don't need to. Um, because I mean, for me it was totally a surprise. I must say. I just, yeah. I mean, I got diagnosed with cancer in uh, February of 2021, and um, they found a tumor in my stomach, and they immediately went to work on it, and I got great doctors and UCSF in San Francisco and they removed my stomach and um, yeah and they got it all got it all out of there so I'm lucky man thanks God thanks God you had the best doctor yeah. you are here and I could science talk to you. is amazing <laughs> okay so thank you guys this was thank you talenting from Exodus you can say something to your fans if you want to thank you very much Czech Republic we're super happy to be here rock on baby